Hey guys, my name is Michelle, and today we're going to be talking about the swap memory issue on the M1 MacBook Pro. I'm going to go over what exactly the swap memory issue is, why some people think that it's an issue, how to check for yourself if it is an issue for you, and my experiences with the base model of the M1 MacBook Pro, and if it is an issue for me. So what exactly is swap memory? Well, to understand that, you have to understand how your computer works and how it launches applications. When you launch an application, the data that's used to run that application is stored in what's called random access memory or RAM. Now this is in contrast to when you save or download something, that data is stored in your hard drive or your SSD. So that's the difference between RAM, which is used to run applications, and SSD, which is used to store data um, that your applications use. Now at any time, you might have multiple applications open on your computer, some that you're using and some that, that you're not using that are kind of just in the background. And this is where swap memory comes into play. The apps that are in your background that you're not using actively, the data from those applications gets stored as swap memory so that it can free up resources in your RAM so that it looks like you have more RAM to do more actions with the active application than you necessarily do. And this is where the swap memory issue stems from. It's the data that's being transferred from your RAM into your SSD. So why is this an issue? Well, unlike your RAM, your SSD has a maximum number of times that it can be written to or read from without affecting the performance of the SSD, without affecting the amount of data that it can store. The lifespan of your SSD is dependent on three factors. One is the age of the SSD, second is the total number of data that's written to the SSD, and the third is the amount of data that you daily write to your SSD as well. So these three uh, factors can have a huge impact to the life of your SSD and can increase or decrease the lifespan of your SSD depending on how you know, efficiently you use it um, and how often you use it. Now because the, the new Apple laptops, the M1 Mac Pro, the Mac Air, and maybe some of the other Macs use swap memory, you are constantly writing and reading from your SSD, whereas in a traditional computer you might not, or it might not use swap files. The other thing is that in a Mac Pro or MacBook Air, the SSD is not replaceable. So you only get however much you, you pay for and what you get at the beginning, and it's not replaceable after that. So this is where it really does start to become an issue, is if you are writing to your SSD constantly and reading from your SSD constantly, these number of cycles start to add up and the lifespan of your SSD starts to decrease. Now the number of cycles that it takes to degrade your SSD to a point where it's not useful is absurdly high and it takes on the order of five to 10 years to actually get to that point. Now if you're an average consumer or average user of the Mac Pro or MacBook Air like myself, using it for, you know, uh, general video editing, um, productivity, watching videos, browsing the internet, those kinds of things. Maybe you're a student that uses this laptop. There's nothing you have to worry about. It, this is not going to impact the life of the product. There's, there might be other issues that come up way before your SSD is going to become an issue for you. Now, how do I know this? Well, there's a few metrics that you can use to actually see how much impact the swap memory has on your laptop. One of those resources is called DX Direct, um, and this will actually tell you the life of your SSD. Um, and I can show you guys a picture in the background of the usage of my computer, as well as some other cases where people have used it and they've seen that, well, you know, even though they're constantly using their laptop, the amount of time that is taken to decrease the or degrade the SSD to a point where, you know, they have are having issues with their SSD is absolutely massive. It's on, like I said, the order of years. So that's exactly how I know. And based on my experience with my MacBook Pro over the last month or two, it's been actually perfectly fine. I haven't really had an issue. And in my case, I feel like I use it, use my laptop more than many others because it is my daily driver. I don't really have any other computer to use. And it hasn't resulted in any issues. I haven't seen much degradation in in, uh, in my SSD, actually 0% degradation in my SSD so far. 
All right, that's it for today's video. If you guys like what you saw or learned something about the swap memory issue, let me know down in the comment section below. Please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And again, I want to say thank you guys for watching and for the support on the channel so far. And I will see you guys in the next video.